Hey guys, how you doing? This is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs. And we're going to talk about what kind of software I use, what kind of printer I use, and what kind of positives I use. So right now what I'm using, good old Corel Draw. But the one I use the, the most is LXI. And the reason why I use LXI is because I'm a lot faster with LXI. So I'm going to bring the, the camera closer and I'm going to show you why I use LXI, why I use CorelDRAW, and the kind of printer I use. Cool? So let me move you around. The printer I use is actually, I usually use all um, Epson printers. You can't even see it because it's so dark in here. So this is an Epson, Epson um, 3600. And I like this one because it's got that little ink right there. You can just refill it. It has little tanks inside of it. See, you can just refill it. It's pretty cool. Lasts forever. Okay, so the other one I used to use is the Epson 7510. Right there, so Epson 7510. Now I'm only using that printer for sublimation. That's what I'm using right now for sublimation. And I used to have a laser, but I found this deal at uh, Staples for an Epson. 1430 for like fifty dollars I couldn't pass that out so that's what I'm using right now for my positives and for my positives I'm using vortex it's upside down I'm using 13 by 19 vortex positive film okay and so for my software I use Corel draw I also have Photoshop, but I don't know how to use Photoshop. I mean, I barely know the basics. So um, I don't use Photoshop, I use CorelDRAW. And the reason why I use CorelDRAW is because we do a lot of embroidery. And for my embroidery, I use Corel drawings. And that runs right just like Corel. And if I want to design something for digitizing or digitizing something for uh, what you call it to embroider, then I design it on Corel Draw. Like for example, this right here, I just did my name real quick. I mean, I, you know, I don't have to be my name. I can do you something real quick and say, you know, just, oops, no F. Just like so, right? And if I wanted to design something in Corel Draw, you know, um, you know, this is just, just let's say for example, I wanted to sign something, right? So basically that's not how I wanted to do. But if I wanted to sign something like that, right? Well, I couldn't do that in Corel Drawings. So that's why I use Corel Draw. Even though I have another digitizing software, I only use Corel Draw for the, Corel drawings for digitizing. So say for example, this is Corel drawings and this is what I use for digitizing for embroidery. We have, um, what is the other one called? Uh, welcome? Yeah, welcome. We'll have the other one, but I don't, I don't hardly ever use welcome. Even though it also works in Corel draw. <coughs> Excuse me. So say for example, I want to I want to design something in here for for a hat or for a beanie or for like you guys saw my other videos on the on the patches, you know this one's right here and and then this one over here, um, you know if I want to design it, then I design it on Corel Draw, and then what I do is I just grab it, copy it, and then come over to my digitizing software, and all I gotta do is paste 
it's ready for me to go. So all, all I gotta do, ungroup it. If I wanna do something special to like this little stars, like for example, if you see that little extra thread right there, then I can take that out because that's gonna come out in the in the uh, in the final product. So I'm gonna put a border on it. See, there goes my border. So if I wanted to if I wanted to design this star straight in Corel drawings, it would have taken me longer than to design it on Corel Draw and then just import it. Not import it, yeah, import it into Corel drawings. So go back over here and then I can do, you know, like different things right here, like, you know, change the way it's gonna look. Um, add little things to it. So this is how easy I mean, at a click of a button and we got all those little different uh, textures on it and then people's gonna be like, oh wow, why did you do that? It's very easy. So and then put a border on that one too and then we can put, I'm actually gonna take the little running stitch out and then get rid of the little running stitch. We could have converted that running stitch into a border but you know, just for the heck of it, just for the video. And then we can change this one to sand. That way we can give it a lot more stitching. And make it look better. See, and that would be ready to go. Now if I would have designed this, just this little simple design here in Corel Drawings, it would have taken me longer. That's why I use this. But when it comes to designing logos and stuff like that, I actually use LX, LXI because I'm a lot faster on LXI and I can also print directly from here without the need of a, a RIP software. I can also do it from, from Corel Draw without the need of, um, I mean, you do need a RIP, a RIP software, I don't have one. But there's ways that you can, you know, go around it. So when it comes to like digitizing over here and, and LXI, then for example, I'm gonna grab this logo from the Patriots. I'm a Patriots fan. It's a bummer that he win, but oh well. And I just paste it right here. And right now this is just a JPEG. As you can see right there. So this is JPEG. So what I do in this software, we grab this little tool right here, and as simple as that, my software or my logo, it's ready to be digitized. Oh, or it's actually digitized. See how easy that was? So then we'll grab this one. That's actually white, and this one is gray. And Voila, there's, there's my image, ready. That's why I use LXI, because LXI, I've been using LXI for like 10 years, so, you know, it's very easy for me to work on. Um, I can do a lot of things with it. It's a lot easier for me. The only thing, there's a lot of stuff that you cannot do in LXI, that you can in Corel Draw and Photoshop. Like for example, if I was to, if I was to do a text, for example, and, oops, wrong one. So if I was to grab, or grab my text right here, right, and I wanted to go around, around my image, then... I can do that in this soft and this yeah this software, but it's not as forgiving as Corel Draw. This was supposed to be just to show you guys what kind of software. Okay, so let's say for example you design your your letters in in, in lowercase and you want to you want to switch them all to uppercase. This one's a lot faster to do that because you can come right here. And I know a lot of you is going to be like, well, we, we can do that in Corel Draw. Draw. Yes, you can, but it's not as fast. Um, and then another little deal that you can do here that you cannot do in Corel Draw. I mean, you can do it in Corel Draw, but 
again this is a little faster um, it's just I mean I just get I, I work in this program a lot faster than I can in Corel Draw so just like that and then we'll take this feed, and delete that and that'll stay there well, see that's how easy it is that's why I use this software LXI and Corel Draw and for digitizing my embroidery will be Corel drawings so there you go guys that's all I use that's my software that's my setup I run a dual screen um, Dell that's my second screen obviously that's my main screen so if I go you know and get you know you can see my channel or I can see your channel um, I mean you guys know how the dual screen works so there you go guys that's what I use I use LXI Corel Draw Epson 1430 printer 13 by 19 nothing really special really so don't go spending a lot of money on your software and stuff you can do it with the min bare minimum cool I just wanted you to see what uh, software I use what printer I use if you want to see my setup let me know I will show you my entire setup um, again I work from my house and you will see how I got everything set up this is my office slash showroom very small it's like a 11 by or 12 by 11 it's very very small but if you guys want to see my entire setup um, let me know comment below hit the little subscribe button like it share 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 and ding the little bell cool pleasure to make this videos for you guys and I hope I see you on the next video I will see you in the next video. Peace out.